So what's up gamers, hope you all are having an amazing day. In this video, I'll show you guys 7 simple things that you should do to increase the performance of your PC by a lot. And low end or high end doesn't matter, you should do this if you have a PC. And doing all this will make your PC a lot faster. And as we all know, faster PCs are cool, right? Well, there's something else that's also cool. Well, you wanna know what's that? Well, subscribing to the channel. Just go ahead and do that right now. Well, anyway, let's begin. So the first thing that you should do is remove all the temporary files from your PC. Well, here's how to do that. So just go here and type run and then type temp. Then click OK and then press Ctrl plus A and Shift plus Delete. So just tick this and set continue and just keep the ones that you can delete. Then what you want to do is go back to run again and type percent temp percent. So just hit OK and select all with Ctrl plus A and Shift plus Delete. So yeah, I have a lot of temporary files on my PC and my PC will totally get the whole benefit of this. And you should delete all of your temporary files every week. So you should do this every week to clean up your PC and keep your PC as light as possible. So just close this and then you want to delete all the prefetch files. So just go to run again and type prefetch here. So just continue. Then you have to delete all of this. Just skip the ones that you can delete and they are all clear. So the next thing that you have to do is reduce windows animations. Now here's how to do that. So right click on this PC, then go to properties, then go to advanced system settings. Then here you'll find the advanced tab and then go to performance, then click settings. Then select custom from here and untick all of them except for this one show thumbnails instead of icons and this one smooth edges of screen fonts so after that just hit apply and then ok now here's a little thing that you can do to upgrade the performance of your pc by a little bit now this won't do much but it's better to do it so just go here and then right click and remove all the pinned stuff from here just unpin all of them Now as you guys can see this is what my start menu looks like and now this won't give you a huge boost but as I said just a little bit. So the next thing that you have to do is remove all the unnecessary applications. So just go to control panel then go to uninstall a program and then uninstall all the things that you don't need. And all the things that you see here are actually applications that I use or games that I play. So just uninstall all the things that you don't need. Now it's your PC, you should find out what you need and what you don't. But don't uninstall this Microsoft Visual C++ stuff and all this driver stuff. Okay, after uninstalling all the unnecessary applications, the next thing you should do is reduce all the startup applications. Well, here's how to do that. So just go to task manager and then go to startup and from here disable all the things that you don't need so as you guys know that most of the games nowadays have their own launcher and i don't want origins or epic games launcher to be started when i start my pc so what you have to do is just right click on it and just hit disable so as you guys can see i have most of the startup applications disabled so that's why my pc can boot a lot faster the next thing that you should do is change your power plan. Now this is actually for laptops on PCs, I mean desktops. The difference isn't that much, but on laptops, you'll find a huge difference. So just type power plan here. Just go here and type power plan. Then go to edit power plan. From here, just go to power options. Then select high performance. Now if you don't see high performance, then go to create a power plan and then select high performance and then set both of them to never and just create a new one. Now, if you are using a laptop, let me tell you that this will drain your battery faster than before. So use this only when you are playing games. 
so after that what you have to do is update your gpu driver so what you have to do is know if you are using a nvidia gpu or an amd gpu and go to their official websites to download their official driver so from their official website just select your graphics card from here or from nvidia just type your graphics card here and then hit search and download the latest driver Now after making sure that your GPU drivers are totally updated, the next thing you should update is your motherboard drivers. Now a lot of people don't know about this but your motherboard has other stuff that actually needs driver update. So you should update all of them. Now to do that you should know the motherboard model or if you don't know your model or you're using a laptop, here's how you can do it easily. Go to your browser and search for iobit driver booster. So just go ahead and download the driver booster from their official website. Just do the free download. It's free. I mean, you don't have to pay or do anything. Just download the free version. Free version works as good as the paid one. Okay, after downloading it, just install it as you would with any other software. So just install the driver booster. So just press install to install this booster and make sure it's no thanks don't yes this one and also no thanks to this one as well now after the install has been completed just press scan now i'll also close this one sorry for that so just give it a scan, it will scan through your system. Now as you guys can see I have a lot of drivers that needs update. So to update them just press update now. Now some of them might require you to go to the pro edition but it's not necessary just update them as they are. So just update with the free version. And this will take some time like about half an hour or so so give it all the time it needs so i think this was it for today and i'll see you guys in the next video and let me know down in the comments if this worked for you i hope this works for you because these are some simple stuff so yeah this was it for today and i'll see you guys in the next video